Plants vs. Zombies is a game franchise over 15 years old with some very in-depth lore involving Crazy Dave and fascist regimes. But first, why don't you subscribe to help me escape my 9 to 5 job? The story of Plants vs. Zombies starts where any good story starts. A few years ago, at the dawn of time. In the Plants vs. Zombies universe, Zombies are basically just really stupid people, so essentially your average Republican and Reform Party voters. Up the, the zombies caused havoc for years. They always aimed to serve the most evil person they can find. Don't ask them what they were doing in the 1940s, you don't want to know. The zombies then continued to cause chaos throughout history, but one day, the evil Dr. Gru Zombos got beaten at a science fair by Crazy Dave himself starting a lifelong feud between the two. The next day, the World Trade Center was hit. A direct consequence of this attack was an assault on Dave's neighbor's garden. The events of Plants vs Zombies 1 then commenced, with Dave giving the neighbor his seed and nine months later, the neighbor gave birth to the Fred Peter, the very first plant. With the power of the Fred Peter, some beans and some shameless self-promoting, the beans beat the zombies until 2013. In 2013, Crazy Dave had a taco filled with human flesh that was so good he had to time travel to eat it again. But Zomboss wanted that taco, so he time traveled too. They both ended up in day 19 of Neon Mixtape Tour. This event was followed up by the renaming of Neon Mixtape Tour to Freaky Mixtape Tour for reasons that I cannot disclose on YouTube. The only information that I can disclose to you is the three Peter was there. The Freaky Mixtape Tour incident led to the birth of the Citron, who then incited a riot in the US Capitol, leading to all-out warfare in the garden. It was all-out war, with Nigel Farage commanding the zombies, sending them to major UK cities to do heinous acts. This war continued for years, until there was a battle for the Neighbourville. But if EA can't be arsed with battle for Neighbourville, then neither can I. Seriously, fuck that game. I want Garden Warfare 3. To summarise the events of Battle for Neighbourville, the zombies got sent to a reality where they manifested themselves as a black mould in a certain writer's house. This mould then transferred the zombie's stupidity to this author and made her say some stupid fucking things on Twitter, spreading the stupidity virus further. As the virus spread, the general population's IQ lowered to the point that they thought Days Gone and Hogwarts Legacy are good games. The mould also manifested itself in media such as the Borderlands movie, Harold and the Purple Crayon, and Skibbity Toilet. In the end, the black mould took over the general population and doomed humanity, Zomboss won, and Jeffrey Epstein continued to do heinous things. 